Welcome to Algebra 1, Unit 6, Lesson 6.2, Slope Intercept Form, Part 1. Our objective today is I will be able to write linear equations in slope intercept form. I'm Mr. Polarski, and I work out of Pearson's Algebra 1, copyright 2009. Here we have the definition of slope intercept form of a linear equation y is equal to mx plus b. We've been studying slope m, how a line either rises or falls. In fact, here we have two lines. This line would have a positive slope because it's going upwards. We learned how to calculate that slope either on a graph or with the slope formula in our previous lesson. That's the slope of a line. This is the y-intercept. If you haven't checked out a previous video I made right before this lesson 6-1, I used an online graphing calculator to walk through some graphs and how it relates to this equation, y is equal to mx plus b. So you might want to check it out. That link's right here. So if you want to check that out, you can. If not, let's move on with slope-intercept form of a linear equation. Example 1t, identifying slope and y-intercept. This is a very easy example. What are the slope and y-intercept of y is equal to 2x minus 3? Why don't we go back to the slope-intercept form, which is y is equal to mx plus b. On the previous slide, it said m is the slope. We learned that in Lesson 6.1, that m is a variable that represents the slope. So in this case, if we compare it to the given equation, The slope in this case, the number in place of the m or the coefficient on the x is 2. I said give an equation. I didn't read the equation. I wrote the wrong number here. It should have been minus 3 here, not plus 6. It should have been minus 3, not plus 6. So if we compare the given equation to the slope-intercept equation, in place of the m, as I said before, is the 2. That's the coefficient on the x. That's our slope. Here, though, we don't have a plus sign. That's okay. I'll show you how to fix that. If we write it as 2x plus a negative 3, that's the addition rule there. We can rewrite subtraction of the addition of the opposite of the number. We have now... In the place of the b, a negative 3. So in this case, to identify the slope m, it is 2. And the y-intercept, or b in this case, is equal to negative 3. Sometimes you might be asked to express that number as an ordered pair. If it's on a graph, x is 0, y is negative 3. So that's how you identify the slope and y-intercept of a given equation in slope-intercept form. Example 2t, writing an equation. Write an equation of a line with the slope 2 fifths and y-intercept positive 4. In this case, the directions aren't real specific, but since we're on a lesson with writing in slope-intercept form, we're going to work with that. y is equal to mx plus b. In this case, it's a pretty easy thing to do. It's an easy substitution. The slope is 2 fifth. Remember, that is our m. And the y-intercept is our b. So we rewrite this equation by substituting those values in. 2 fifths for m. So that gives y is equal to 2 fifths x plus 4. And we substitute 4 in for b. So there's our solution there. That's a pretty easy, pretty quick problem to do. Last problem here, I want to talk about a test taking skill real quick. Uh, we're asked to write an equation for the line. This is from uh, Pearson Algebra 1, page 318. This is our example 3, writing an equation from a graph. 
this line, if you notice it, uh, in class I talked about uh, positive, negative correlations on scatter plots quite a few uh, units ago, and we had a discussion about that in class. And since this line goes downward from left to right, it should give us a negative slope. So if we look at the answers here, answer A and answer B both have a negative slope. Remember, we're working with y is equal to mx plus b. So A and B could be an answer. If we look at D, here we're taking a look at the test taking skill. We're going to eliminate a choice or eliminate a choice or two, eliminate an answer. The thing about eliminating an answer, you do have to know a little bit about what's going on. Test taking strategy. That's an eliminate. It's an M. Eliminate an answer or two. So choice D here has a positive slope. By looking at the graph, knowing it has a negative slope, we can eliminate that answer. Choice C, right away, you may not recognize that this does give a positive slope. You could or should recognize that there's no constant term. There's no B term. We have two X terms. So we can combine that. When we do that, 2x minus 4 thirds. 2x, remember, you can think of as the fraction 6 thirds because 6 over 3 is equal to 2. 6 thirds take away 4 thirds would give 2 thirds x. So this simplifies to 2 thirds x. It gives a positive slope, so that's not an answer. So we have to decide, is the correct answer A or is the correct answer B? To do that, here are some steps to help you out. Identify the y-intercept. Well, in both of the answers, the y-intercept, or the number in place of the b, is 2. And that is the slope, the y-intercept, on the given graph. Now we have to count out the slope. To do that, we need to identify another good point. To find the slope, we need to identify a good point. I talked about good points in class. Going down the graph, looking for good points, even though this is close, it's not a good point. What I mean by a good point, it crosses two grid lines. As I go down the graph, the first good point after the y-intercept that I find is right here. So now I count the slope. I go from here to here. I count the vertical change. I go down three, one, two, three, which we represent with a negative three, and I go to the right four. One, two, three, four. So the slope here is the vertical change over the horizontal change, or the, as I talk about in class, delta, X, delta y over delta x, or the change in y over the change in x. Change in y, the vertical change, negative three over positive four. So the correct answer here would be y is equal to negative three force x plus two. It's not this one. It's choice A, because the slope is negative 3 fourths with a y-intercept of 2, which will be right there. This has been Mr. Polarski on the slope-intercept form of a linear equation. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.